Hi, my name is Chris Helzer. I'm the Director of Science for the Nature Conservancy here in Nebraska. And I've been working along the Central Platte River for about 25 years. And one of the best parts of my job is the annual spectacle of the migratory sandhill cranes. So I was watching sandhill cranes on the Platte River before I started with the Nature Conservancy. I think the first time I saw them was in college. I had some friends that we uh, got in a car and drove out to the Platte River from Lincoln. And we spent the day watching cranes in the field. And I just remember watching them dance and feed and just stand around. And we were so entranced by that vision. We would watch them for 10 or 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes in the same spot. And then we'd drive a quarter mile or a half mile up to the next big flock. And we'd do the same thing, watching the same birds do the same thing. And we never got tired of it. We did that all day long. I think it was that year or the next year that I first got to see sandhill cranes from a viewing blind along the edge of a river. We got to watch them come in for their evening roost and just drop out of the sky by the thousands. And I couldn't believe the sound, I couldn't believe the sight, I couldn't believe how lucky we were to be in that place at that time. Nature Conservancy has been working along the Platte River since 1971. Our mission is pretty simple. We're here to conserve the lands and waters upon which all life depends. Over the last 50 years, we've protected about 100,000 acres across the state. Every spring, thousands and thousands of sandhill cranes descend on the Central Platte River as part of their northward migration. Estimates are about 650,000 cranes show up each year. You can see on this map how important our part of the river is to the migratory journey. We call it the pinch in the hourglass, and each bird stays for three weeks or so between mid-February and mid-April. Cranes come to the Platte River to rest and refuel during their migration north from the southern U.S. and Mexico on their way to the breeding grounds in Canada, Alaska, and Siberia. On some days, they'll fly as far as 400 miles. The Central Platte River Valley provides just what cranes need during their stay. As you see here, they roost overnight in open channels with exposed sandbars. They don't use channels that are full of tall vegetation. Historically, high river flows in the summer constantly moved sandbars downstream and kept them covered with water so plants couldn't get established. Today, the river has changed and doesn't have the same open character that it used to. Since 2009, the Nature Conservancy has led an effort to keep the whole river free of several invasive plant species, working alongside 20 partners and lots of private landowners. Your support makes that happen. Sandhill cranes are an ancient species. There's a sandhill crane fossil that's two and a half million years old. They're about three to four feet tall. They weigh six to 12 pounds and they have a wingspan of six to seven feet. They live 20 to 40 years and they mate for life. If you've ever driven along the Platte River near Kearney or Grand Island in the spring, you've probably seen hundreds or thousands of sandhill cranes scattered across cornfields along the road. Corn makes up 90% of their diet while they're here on the Platte River, but they spend about half their time looking for the other 10%. Insects, earthworms, snails, plants, and they do that in wet meadows and grasslands. That too is where you come in. Thanks to your membership with the Nature Conservancy, we can be nature's real estate agent. We own over 3,300 acres along the Central Platte River, which we manage with fire, grazing, and other stewardship practices. Each of those carefully chosen acres has a big impact on wildlife throughout the river valley. In addition to what we own, we've helped enhance the habitat quality of another 100,000 acres for cranes and other species. We don't do anything by ourselves. We succeed by working with others. We're powered by members and volunteers, and we work with other nonprofit organizations, government entities, and countless private landowners. Over our 50 years of work on the plat, the problems we face just grow more complicated. We're trying to find ways to balance food, fiber, and energy needs with the needs of cranes, prairies, and the river itself. We help build broad partnerships and apply the best available science to inform land management, river policy, and sustainable agricultural practices. Whatever we learn, we share through regular outreach. I still love spending springs with the sandhill cranes. A lot of my enjoyment today, though, comes from watching other people get to see this for the first time. Regardless of where they come from or how old they are, people are just astonished by the sights and the sounds of the sandhill crane migration, just like I was when I first saw it many years ago. The annual staging of sandhill cranes on the Platte River is consistently rated among the top wildlife viewing experiences in the world. With your help, we can make sure the cranes and the people who love them keep coming back year after year.